this could be kiko'o and this as well. The reason I like this as kiko'o is because when we're making our string, we use this, this shaka. So for me, I like this and the way that it equals out makes a lot of sense for me. So everybody, show me a shaka. Say kiko'o. 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 Okay, kiko'o. Two kiko'o. One, two. Okay, right here. So from this to the top. Say ha'ilima. 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 Okay. One, two, three, four kiko'o or two ibile, uh, two ha'ilima. From right here to out. This makes uh, ibile. Everyone say ibile. 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 Okay. One, two, three ha'ilima or six kiko'o. Makes from this elbow out. Okay. This one here is a muku. Everybody say muku. muku. Yeah, there's a muku, right? Everybody yeah. <laughs> start dancing hula, okay? The last one is anana. 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 Okay? One anana is two ibile, is four ha'ilima, is eight kiko'o. Wow. Okay? Yes. So we're going to have like... We never That's have why we're going to learn this song today. Yes. You guys going to remember this, yes. I promise. Okay, so we didn't have like the standard units of measurement, right? Where it was like one inch or you know one centimeter this is all according to body yeah mm -hmm. okay so you guys going to follow me yeah okay. can, can we so spread can... out yeah spread can out we spread out because okay. she get big leo so we all going here <laughs> we all going here all right here okay so i'm gonna go and then you guys go okay. and just okay. remember you brave okay. okay okay and remember that i usually teach it to children <laughs> okay Anana, muku, anana, 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 muku, ibile, muku, anana, 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 muku, ibile, muku, anana, 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 muku, ibile, ha ilima, ibile, muku, anana, anana. Get away, get away, get away. So what we end up doing is kiko'o three times because, you know, for some reason, three is a very important number as is fours and the multiples of those numbers. Yeah. Um, so we go kiko'o, 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 and then all the way back. So, okay. example. Anana, muku, ibile, ha ilima, kiko'o, 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 ha ilima, ibile, muku, anana, na, na, na. Okay. Ready? You got to do that with us. Ready? Go. Anana, muku, ibile, ha ilima, kiko'o, 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 ha ilima, ibile, muku, anana, na, na, na. <laughs> okay, yeah, come back, sit down. So that's the, that's the measurement, you know. Um, it's so interesting because usually people don't think, you know, for some reason our culture isn't, isn't thought to be mathematical, it's not thought to be scientific, it's not thought to be, you know, all these other things, but Holly is very scientific and it's very mathematical. I learned about Pythagorean theorem because I draw up the Holly plans and my math professor friend was like, Tiana, that's Pythagorean theorem. I'm like, I just need to know the length of my oa, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so she shows me, like, oh my gosh, it took me an hour. But a squared plus b squared, if you're looking right here, if this was, a, you know, that kind of angle at a 45 degree pitch, you know, you have to know the length of that. It's so cool. I love, I love being able to have applicable math and science in regards to what my uh, practice is within our culture. So, um, how many? I guess, I guess we can. Try and make twos. Get hundred feet, and that one. Four. Okay, so if my yeah, my anana is sixty inches. Okay, so currently we use parachute cord five fifty. We do use senate, and I've used how as well before in making hale. Um, my uncle Francis Kumu, uh, Francis and Nancy, he wrote the code for which Hawaii goes by for indigenous architecture. So there's a few things within the code that they wanted us. Uh, to stick with, it's very interesting. They made sure that it's a temporary structure. They made sure it's not livable. They made sure that you can't um, have generators or open fires in it. Uh, they also made sure that you're unable to attach any kind of shade structure or tarp to an indigenous hale. So it's very interesting how 
they still have somewhat of a control, if you allow it to be, you know, um, over what we're able to do as cultural practitioners. Um, so one of the things is um, we use Parachute Court 550 because they wanted us to have hurricane straps and drill into our posts. And my uncle went and tested it, and each, each lashing is at least 1,500 PSI with a 550 parachute cord, and so that's what we use. Um, we also have to add cement in between our wall wells, even though we completely know how to do dry stack. Uh, my kumu uncle Francis led ukohola. He led pi'ila uh, heao in regards to the um, um, reconstruction of those heao. He also did the little um, olokea over here. They came one day and he, he came and did a olokea. So um, we have a lot of little things that they that they say we can and cannot do, but we just, for the most part, follow that so that, you know, if somebody has to go through a process of having a structure on their space that's permitted, then at least you know that it's, you know, too cold. Okay, so, so example. Okay. Yeah, can I see yours real yeah. fast? Okay, I'm just gonna teach you how to make a shaka. So this is a way that you can make um, your cordage and sit it in a way so that it becomes like a heat up. Okay, so it's, um, we don't have this bundled and then have like a heat up on it that's helping us to lash. We make, the, the way that we make this cordage, we just call it a shaka um, in a way so that it, it has a slow release. Um, and Uncle Francis, you know, kind of coined this, but he also learned it from my great grandma, who's his grandma, and it's how she used to save her rope. So, another song, because I like teaching kids. <laughs> but uh, we kind of do a whip and a nae -nae and then do a little bit oh, of a yeah. single lady. <laughs> <laughs> so, example, okay, you say stop in the name of love. Okay, so, if you right hand it, then you go on your left hand, opposite, right? Um, so, what it's going to be doing is you're going to kind of whip it over your between your thumb and your first finger and make sure it goes at least to your shoulder and then this is where the single lady comes in because you're gonna oh 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 right <laughs> this one is the one that's moving okay this hand isn't necessarily holding a strong tension it's just leading it um so while you're doing it what you're doing is making an eight a figure eight in between these hands if at all possible keep your shaka big Sometimes this is what happens, and then all of a sudden, you know, your hand is like this. So if you can keep keep that those two hands out big, and as you're weaving it, you're gonna build. You're not gonna loop under, okay? So that's that will definitely cause some kind of like tangleage. You're not gonna do that. You've got to go and build it on top. So you're just bringing it up, yeah. And so this this hand is working. This hand is just holding that string as it's as it's being kind of woven in. Yeah, again, okay, just, yeah. Okay, so now if you put your, once you get that, if you put your pinky up and your thumb down and you're just about the same length, you give your, yourself a big thumbs up and say, good job, me. Good job. <laughs> good job, me. Okay, this part that's, that, that you ended on, uh, the one, the string that you were going with, that stays outside of your hand, your thumb comes off, yeah? And now you've got like this little, Uncle Francis likes to call it a monkey. It's a monkey with one arm and one tail, yeah? <laughs> so the next thing that you do is you make a P. So if you're looking at yourself and this is a P, what this is basically doing is you're gonna be making a row of half hitches, yeah? So at least five half hitches on top of this little monkey head, okay? So for me, you make a P and then you just go over. But you wanna make sure that that part that's um, going uh, vertical is behind the horizontal because that will make the lock you can also do it the other way but then you just have to make the lock on top yeah so you do at least five of those or you know some people get fancy and <laughs> okay one more time P and over the whole head right you're not gonna go through so the yeah. back part of the line goes over over all of it over, over all, all of that yeah Okay, so for example, so that was just a fast kind so I could show you what the end result was, okay. yeah? So this is the shaka, right? Okay, so I'm gonna attach. Here, John, take any hold. Come here, Joe. Okay, so if I'm gonna use this shaka, I'm gonna attach using two half hitches. And now this one is called a upa'a. So I'm gonna go around where I'm attaching 
this wood to this wood. And so what we're doing is making a U over one, a U over two, U over three, and then the fourth U goes inside of where you just were. So now what you're ending up doing is this is gonna be the weakest part and you're fortifying from the inside pushing out. Similar to the way that you would do dry stack masonry, right? When you when you when you do dry stack, when you're making puhaku, you find the alo, you find if it's not flat, a little bit of slant, it's touching three ways, so that all that inertia is going inward to fortifying the rock wall and it's not gonna just you know fall off. Okay, so again inside, 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 yeah. And this is what you continue to do. So this lashing is probably, if you come to a hale build with us, the first lashing you're gonna learn, because this is how we attach our olokea, or our scaffolding. Okay, I'm just going above and beyond, because this is long. <laughs> Usually you need at least three, yeah? But then you guys can look at this after. Okay, so now what happens is, we've now looped in this piece of wood and this piece of wood, but it's still movable. We're not really holding a lot of tension while you're doing this lashing. You, you're doing the rungs, the strength comes in when you start to change your, your plane and now you're, you're tightening these legs, yeah? Similar to, to va'a as well. Okay, so once, twice, tighten. And now I'm not gonna do it because I wanna take this out and I need Jante to use her lomi stick again, okay? But what you would end up doing is you go around and through so you make one half hitch, you go around and through one more time, you make one more half hitch, and then you go reverse, and you do a locking half hitch. Um, and then that would be the end. I'm just gonna make one so people can kind of pass them around. Pass them around, yeah. So that's that's like a basic upa'a. Okay, let's go back to chakras as you guys are passing that around. Oh. Okay, you guys remember, what is this? Yeah. Okay. Anam. 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 Buku. Ibile. Ha'ilima. Good job, Piko. Right on, guys. Okay, so again, you guys can stand up because you guys are going to yeah. end up throwing it. Oh, let's see yours. Wait, are you Diana or Christine? Okay. <laughs> twins. I love, I love twins. <laughs> I love twins. <laughs> okay, so try throw yours out so you can see what, what it should look like. Try hold one end, the tail end. Yeah. And now you just throw them out and it should end up with no knots inside. The reason we don't like knots at the end and we say to do it in this specific way is because the absolute worst thing to do is end up being on the top of the hale and you're now doing the throttling and you have to hold that amount of pressure and then there's like five knots. Oh. And you got one hand and teeth, you know what I mean? Like what are you gonna do? Like whoever, you just, who made this shaka? Cause I'm so bummed right now, right? Yeah, okay, so put your hand up. Hi, okay. <laughs> okay, so whip right over, at least to your elbow. Yep. Okay, now this hand is going to be the moving hand and it's going to be a figure eight building around your thumb and pinky. Yep, one more. Yep, okay. Now when you see, if your pinky is up and your thumb's down and it's just about the same, same, you're just gonna lock this in on that inside of your thumb and close your three fingers. All these, close them. Just all like close them. Like, oh, okay. give them no, no, give them like a fist bump. Oh, oh. yes. Okay, <laughs> thumbs up, okay, because you did a good job. Now this is the one that's gonna go and um, do the reversing half hitch or the regular half hitch around. So you take it off your thumb. Yep. And then you go and make the P, yeah? So P, over. Oh, yeah. so, oh my God. So you make a P. No. P. Over. P. Over. P. Over. P. Yeah. Okay. Come around. Okay. So where are you at? Okay. So like this. This. And then it goes like this. If it goes like this way, then you're gonna go down. That's going. <laughs> because when I used to do this, when 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 Miss Tester came and tested it, she threw it. Yep, it's all knots. <laughs> I'll show you. All, all knots. knots. Okay, so I'm gonna make a knot in this one so you guys can see what I'm talking about, which is which it gets super. Okay, so 
first thing, if these two were the same length, that's that's not good. Why do you think? If I'm grabbing one and I'm like grabbing from my pocket and going to lash, yeah. if I grab this side, then I like start going, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, take them out, you know. So this is just about, you know, helping um, efficiency to happen yeah, as we're going. Mind you, you know, a lot of times it's so beautiful because we have babies from Kupuna, all the way up to Kupuna that come and help to build. And um, a lot of times the Kupuna love doing this because they're like, I'm doing something, I'm being a part of it. I cannot climb up, but you know, I go cho shakas all day up, you know? So a lot of times, you know, Kupuna love doing this, this one. So this one actually has a knot in it right there. Yeah? The way that you do the knot, this is as simple as it is. Basically, when you make your shaka, okay, we're here. If you go, you can also go around and through the, the top. Mm -hmm. If this is top and this is bottom. Around and through the top, that'll make a half hitch. The way to make a knot would be to go around so and through the bottom. That'll make a knot every time. Yeah, so you go around and through the top. Yeah. You guys all practicing? Yeah. Oh, we go, I'm coming, I'm coming. coming. So when you get it, because this is longer, yeah? Yeah. So we're going to go do this. And then, I guess. Oh, so this has to be shorter. Yeah, it can't okay. be the same. It can't be the same. Well, as you can see, it's the same length. Yeah. But when you tie it, it's going when to you shorter. tie it, yes. So here. Okay. Okay. So you, sure. Yeah. So you sew her over. I got it. I got it. I got make it. sure it's as long as that, and then you just do your shakas. But you softly. Yeah, make sure it goes to the on the top. Softly. Yeah. Make sure it goes on the top. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Get ready, I'm going to pull. <laughs> Get three knots. Yeah, so so what you did was you just went from the under. Which is this is a beautiful um thing to learn with. So don't even, you know, don't sweat it. This is how we this is how we learn, right? I had to learn how to put in knots so that I could explain how to not put it on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, if you have it, we're going, going, going. Okay, we're here. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do the way you was doing, what you, what you did yeah. is you came, you came like this. But you go, oh, you okay, go so over. I'm still making horse knots. Yeah. So, okay, Yeah. the other way. Yeah, the other way, that's I'm it. Okay. Down the foot, yeah. Thank you. No problem. That's wrong. All right. Oh. They should be like So I actually just, um. Uh, finished writing a Hale curriculum and so I'm teaching it at Kavaihona. Yeah, so we built last year at Kavaihona the DOE Charter School uh -huh. and then now we're um, teaching there. But yeah, we build at it. schools, we build at universities, we build at people's farms, I mean, we local IA, I mean, everywhere. Uh -huh. Yeah. So there's guaranteed many opportunities from whichever community that you're in to be able to be a part of building Hale. Okay, you guys have any questions? Do we remember the song and the dance? <laughs> That's the question. That is the question. <laughs> I know that one too. <laughs> but the kids love it, you know. It's so much fun. Like, um, what I, I, don't, I don't know if I have it in, in here. I, I don't. But what I ended up doing was I made like a string for each of their ananas. And then they had to put a knot at their kiko'o, at their ha'ilima, at their ivile, at their muku, and then at their anana. And then what I did was I put tape around the knot and then I said, okay, kiko'o and how many inches? So then wow. you're trying to, you know, to help them see. So now all of a sudden in regards to ratio, like, okay, five of my anana is the width of this hale. You know what I mean? So then all of a sudden, you know, they're kind of seeing like how this is now applicable. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool. Like every time they're like, whoa, I like mine is 7.5 and then it's 14. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, 15 and then like, you know, it just keeps going out to 60. So, you know, 30, then 45, then 60 uh, for myself, but you know, everybody else. And this is about your height. Yeah? yeah. Your fathom, fathom yeah. is about your height. Yeah. But it's super, uh, it's super fun.